Oh, man, I'm a human. I'm a human. My name's Timmy Joe, and uh, I'm mostly mad at myself because I did this whole thing a bunch of times and got a finally really good take and everything. Like, I'm, I'm angry, and I have a, a head cold, which does not help. This uh, T was an S. I don't know why. You should use Extreme Causion when updating your BIOS. And I'm going to tell you why after this intro. So go ahead and cue an intro. We'll talk all, all about it. Ah! <laughs> so. Let me set the stage for you. I'm Timmy Joe. Uh, I'm getting famous on the YouTubes because they got a really fast rising computer, a really good overclock. I'm all, like all happy about it. And uh, my only problem with overclocking has been my memory speeds. I've never been able to overclock uh, further than 2400 megahertz. And I hear so many people having wonderful success with Ryzen at 2933, even as high with some new memory kits as like, you know, past 3000, 3200 megahertz. So uh, I want to get me in on that. But uh, my other overclocks have been wonderful. In fact, my stable overclock before this debacle was 3.9 gigahertz with my AIO, my Corsair H60, uh, and I did Cinebench and uh, Ida64 test. Uh, ran that all no problem. You see that here on the screen, not even lying. So uh, yeah, I've had no, uh, no problems there. So my overclock has generally been 3.875 gigahertz at 2400 megahertz uh, memory speed. Never had system stability issues with uh, the BIOS update that I got. Right when uh, my board came in the mail, I got it like, a few days later, there was a BIOS update to the version 0513. Had real success with that except for the memory, but that's no problem. So, uh, I've been watching for BIOS updates because I'm thinking, you know, well, I want to get on this memory thing and uh, there's been some issues with temperature reporting. So, I see that on the weekend there's two of them. I'm like, cool. So, I do my due diligence and I Google, see if anyone's having any issues. And no one said much about 0515, which was just a minor incremental update that was supposed to improve system stability, memory enhancement capabilities, and improve CPU temperature monitoring function. I'm like, yeah, I want those options. Cool. And then there is an AGESA, uh, A-G-E-S-A, which is a microcode update with a beta version from Asus, an uh, 0605, so a whole new series of BIOSes. I'm like, I'm not going to touch that because people are having memory problems with that one. So I'm like, I'm not going to do a beta. I'll just do this minor incremental one. I throw that on there and uh, my, my, my overclock profile doesn't work anymore. I load it from the USB key. Can't do uh, 3.857 gig, whatever. I'm like, what the hell? So I played around with it and played around with it and I couldn't overclock my memory at all anymore. I could only get minor overclocks uh, at stock memory speeds. So I wanted to go backwards. I'm like, forget this. So just put things back to the way they were. So I tried to load uh, BIOS 0513, which is the one I was running with all of the freezer old crazy overclocks with the Cinebench score of 1808 running at almost 4.1 gigahertz in the freezer videos here. Uh, and it won't let me do it. It says no longer a viable BIOS or a, whatever, the, not a recognizable BIOS. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, well, if it won't let me downgrade, I'll roll the dice on this beta. So I roll the dice on that. Doesn't seem like much is different at all, except for now I have some system stability issues, uh, even trying some overclocking settings. So I was all set to make a video about just those two biases today, and I, I had most of my stuff done for it. And then I checked one more time just to make sure they threw another BIOS update up there, the official 0606 release for this Ajiza uh, microcode update. Uh, and I'm like, oh, well now I gotta test, do all the testing again with that. So I throw that in there and uh, now I can actually load a bunch of different memory profiles. I can load uh, 2400 again, I can load 2666 and I can load 2933 but I can only load 2933 if I'm at stock CPU speeds, which is only three gigahertz on my Ryzen system. Uh, and that's no good for me. Uh, I ran Cinebench at that score and it was like low as all hell. It was in the 1300s. 
So I'm like, well, let's go work our way backwards. I go tw uh, 2666. I can't hit over uh, 3.4 gigahertz uh, in until Cinebench starts uh, throwing the system into a black screen. I'm like, oh my god, really? So let's dial it back to 2400, see if I can get my old overclock going. And the fastest overclock I can get at 2400 megahertz is 3.7 gigahertz. And I used to be able to get 3.975, almost 4 gigahertz, no problem. And uh, I'm, I'm just fuming here. I, I was running at 3.875 all the time, stable, no problems. It was like barely touching uh, at idle, like temperatures over 35 degrees at load over like 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, you know, so this just, this sucks. Now I'm stuck with, uh, and I still can't downgrade to that BIOS. So it'll let me downgrade to uh, 05, 13, uh, 15, but not 05, 13. So... I'm stuck with a BIOS that no longer allows me to overclock my computer anywhere near what I know it's capable of. And I want to know why, Asus? Why? Like, I know there'll be future BIOS updates, but is it going to fix this problem? Or did you switch something around because people aren't buying as many of your X370 motherboards as you thought and you wanted to limit this, uh, you know, B350 range in some way to make it so you, you can sell more expensive motherboards? Now, I know that's an accusation that I have no proof of, but hmm makes you think doesn't it i'm timmy joe if you have any suggestions for me i'd love to hear them in the comments if you're having the same problem i'd love to hear it in the comments i also have social media uh watch timmy joe on twitter uh if you have some suggestions that are really meaningful i'd love to hear it uh over social media because we can dm that way but if you have this same setup i'd like to know where you know where, where what you're getting to for overclocks because i used to overclock the she dude out of this thing and now i feel like something's been taken away from me and I'm a little sad about it so watch Timmy Joe thanks guys for watching hear me rant more videos later this week and uh, I want you to just keep it sleazy out there okay so I'll talk to you on the download